Hi, now we're monitoring with cacti. So in this video, we're going to take a look at using Python as a general glue for cacti. So for example, if your device or certain attributes that you want to monitor is not available via SNMP, and you have to use an API call in order to grab that value, or you want to be more optimal and say, you know, you are calling one API call to grab a bunch of different variables and just kind of graph them uh, separately or on the same graph, you could always use an API call and that requires using an external script. As well as looking at some of the other uh, general glue type of tools, uh, packages for cacti, such as the database binder or the ROD tool. In this video, the point is not to advocate Cacti over other monitoring tools is just a general way for me to show that uh, Python is, you know, in many ways just as good as Perl, if not better, in my own opinion, uh, working as a glue for external tools that serve the purpose of monitoring. So let's look at a little bit of the demonstration on how to use Python along with Cacti. So in order to use an external tool, let's use a very simple example, which is on the cacti.net, how the person basically uses a Perl script that prints a random uh, integer between uh, zero to nine. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a Python script instead, but still do the same thing and just print out a random integer. And the steps are, you know, I'm just gonna go through them pretty quickly. You create a data, since you're gonna have this offline, that uh, you basically create an input model and your script basically just have to print out on a standard output a integer. And you create a data input model that points to this particular script. You create a data source and you uh, create a graph to actually display the output. So let's take a look at the script itself. It's super simple. As you can see from the screen, the script itself actually it, I even name it the same, except it's, to, uh, it's using the Python extension, and it just basically prints out a random integer on the screen. And let's look at the console configuration for that particular script. So basically, you create a data input model. As you can see, this was the script that uh, I have saved and uh, that's going to be executed. And you're going to create a data source in the random to integer and it's gonna automatically create RRD file. And then you come back to graph management, you point to that data source and uh, you grade the two items. So everything is identical to that you know, walkthrough, the how-to, except that it's using Python. And so you could see that you, know, you could easily use the API call to grab either one or multiple values output on the standard out and then uh, be able to use the API call instead of something that traditionally could only be used for SNMP. And let's take a look at the finished graph. So, you know, the random number, it's a, it's a random number that gets generated and does the five minute average. And therefore you get these uh, ziggly lines that you, know, that you see on the screen. Let's take a look at some of the glue-ish function, the third party libraries or some of the other useful modules that we could use from Python that you could be used for uh, cacti. Let's take a look at the Cacti uh, DB adapter first. So this is a pretty useful module. If you want to just take a quick look at the uh, Cacti database, such as, you know, you could get the host and um, you could actually map out some of the information and therefore, uh, and then print out the information that's in the database. So if we just import pprint, and now we're able to just print out the different values within that, you know, the hosts within that database. Also keep in mind that the Cacti is only, is uh, based on ROD tool. So you can actually use the ROD tool module to update, you know, this particular, the DS17, as you saw on the previous screen, was actually the, the ROD database for the random number. So in this section, we take a look at how Python could be used in conjunction with Cacti. As mentioned before, the point is not to promote Cacti or over other monitoring tools, it's rather to demonstrate that Python is a good glue tool for monitoring functions, regardless of what tool that you use. In the next section, we're gonna take a look at the NetFlow and SFlow based monitoring using Python, of course.